Welcome everyone. Thanks for spending your lunch with us. You got Dylan and Ashley here. We had some pretty wild weather recently. Yeah, and that's what we're going to start with tonight is that wild weather overnight. Take a look at some of the images that were sent to us. It's a little dark wow. here, but we do know hail. Hail fell over parts of Oahu. We do know of some hail coming down in Nanakuli. That's actually where we first heard about it, followed by uh, Wahiwa. Uh, and the people that have been sending us images uh, have sent us videos from it falling in their yard, on their cars. One person even sent us a video, a uh, size comparison. They're about the size of quarters yeah. right now. So this is some of the wild weather that we have been seeing. This is all due to a front that is moving over the islands. Ash, what was the weather like in your neighborhood? So apparently there was big thunder and lightning last night at like one o'clock. I didn't hear it at all. Slept um, right through I it. slept right through it. <laughs> My dog must have slept through it because I had no idea about it until yeah. this morning. So well, for us over in Waikele, uh, the flashing actually started around maybe eight o'clock in the evening. We saw the evening skies lighting up and it got more and more intense. And I, I would say that probably the, the most intense of it happened just after midnight, 1 a.m. So uh, wherever you were on Oahu, if you saw some of this, uh, it definitely was widespread, um, but the good news is the hail was isolated to Nanakuli and Wahiwa. No other reports there. No serious reports of damage across the island, so that's some good news there. But we do want to tell you about the current weather conditions. Right now, the a flood watch is posted for Oahu, which means flooding conditions could linger throughout the day. For more on this, let's turn it over now to our Guy Hagi. And for more on the wild weather that we've been seeing now, let's bring in our guy, Hagi. Uh, Aloha, guy. Thanks for joining us here today. Yeah. Uh, what are the conditions looking like so far? Okay, the most pressing thing, Dylan, is for us here in Oahu. That's where the National Weather Service has posted this flood watch. And what does that mean? That means that flooding conditions are possible. Not everybody's going to get in on the rain, but for if you're on Oahu and you live in a flood-prone area, take precautions for more heavy rain because that big storm system continues to sit over us and there's still some lightning and some thunder firing up. Most of it is out over the ocean right now, but you can see all of this is slowly migrating up to the north. And that means Oahu and some of Maui County could get some flooding conditions. And then for Kauai, they're not out of, they're not out of the line of fire as well. So we are likely to see more uh, you know, uh, flooding rainfall and that could uh, extend into tonight, maybe even to some extent tomorrow. Yeah, um, let's talk about that hail that we saw last night. Yep. Uh, obviously, the people out in Leeward, Oahu, Nanakuli, the west side, they were caught off guard by this. Uh, was this front expected to bring those conditions? I got to tell you, no, it caught everybody by surprise, including the National Weather Service. We didn't know that was going to happen. We knew that the stormy system and the stormy conditions were over us, but to it to, for it to fire up hail and that light show overnight, and which continues this morning, by the way, uh, it, we, didn't, we didn't see that coming. But we knew that that stormy disturbance was there and the slight possibility of that. Now, the thing is that there's still a possibility for more heavy rain this afternoon because of all the moisture, because of the light winds, because of the cloud buildup that's expected to happen. So here's what we expect for today, right? We've got some thunderstorms out there this morning, right? And then by lunchtime, things are gonna settle down just a little bit. But because of the light winds, because of the humid air mass, because of all the moisture, we could see more spotty thunderstorms by this afternoon through tonight. And who knows, Dylan, we might even see another round of, uh, you know, hail fire up yeah. again. One more question about that hail. Uh, it was, we first got reports out of Nanakuli and then we heard uh, Wahiwa. Yeah. How widespread was this weather ph phenomenon uh, last night? It wasn't widespread. Because I live in town, we didn't see any rain whatsoever. I left, town, I left, uh, you know, for to come to the station early this morning. But it was totally dry where I was. Right, that's in the central uh, Kaimuki area. Uh, but then, if you just traveled a little bit north, you were swamped. Right, so it's going to be like that. Right, some areas not going to get a lot of rain. Some areas going to get a lot. So again, the advice is, if you live in an area that is flooded before take precautions and make like it's going to flood again just to be safe. Yeah, perfect. Well, keeping an eye on it all is our awesome Guy Hoggy with your first alert forecast. Thanks so much, Guy. Sure.